Drop a like and do share. Leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. In order to create an accurate uh, model of this aircraft that has the right dimensions, we need a picture like this. This is a blueprint picture of uh, the X-Wing Starfighter. And uh, as you can see, we've got views from the top, from the side, and from the front and back. I will be using the picture from the side and from the top. And I need those to be cut out so that I have exactly this picture right here of just the top and this picture right here of just the right side. In order to do that, I'll need to use Photoshop. I'm sure you can do this using other imaging, image uh, processing programs. So with this uh, layer in Photoshop, I'll press C to get the crop tool and I need the first crop tool right here. And then I'll basically pull this in so that it fits around the aircraft. So to move around, you hold space and then you can just move around just like in After Effects in the composite. In the, um, yeah, in the viewport, hold Alt, scroll to move out. Then I will hit Enter, and um, since I'm not that good at uh, Photoshop, I'm doing this in not the best way. So I'll hit M, Control A to mark everything, Control C, and I'll then create a new. Hit OK, Control V to paste, and then I will just delete the background in here. So right now we've got our picture in a new file or whatever you call it. And then I'll go in here and just do Control Alt C to undo. Press C again, and I will now do the same. So go around and move this in. And if you uh, are willing to pay, then there are sites where you can get much better uh, blueprints than this. Because as you can see on this, the lines, if you look right here, the lines are all smeared together. And especially right here, it's impossible to see what's actually going on. But there are, there are other sites where you can get very good. Uh, blueprints. So I'll now just hit all right again, control A, control C, control C, and we'll go in, new, all right, paste. So as you can see now, we've got these two pictures from the top, perfectly cut out, and from the side perfectly cut out. But we, what we want to do now is actually get these to be the same size. So a way I figure out that you can do that is by delete, just undoing this composition, deleting this layer. Yeah, that's weird. Um, if we go in here, pick our layer, go back into this, paste, then we will see we have got this layer in here. And, well, why can't I? I'm not the best at Photoshop. You may be able to tell. Control A, Control C, go back in here, paste. There we go. Now we've got both pictures. And we want to hide the background or delete it like this. Yes, we want to delete that. So if we press C, we can just enlarge in our canvas. Now we want to um, 
make sure that these two pictures have the same size. So I can just move it up to the corner and it's, and it's going to snap perfectly. You can see it with the two purple lines. Press Control T and make it a little bit larger while holding Shift so that you don't uh, change the dimensions. Hit OK. Press V and I want to select the other layer. Move it to the side. Control T and uh, I want to make sure they have the right size, the same size, and they do. That means they're going to be they're going to be uh, correct when we go to uh, put them into our composition. So we can crop this down, even though it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is that we have got our two layers separated. So. We want to just go into these two compositions right now and then paste pick one layer copy paste press C and then just crop this in until it fits and that way we know it has the right dimensions and I'm sure you can do this in a better way I'm sorry for not being the best at Photoshop but um, I hope it's all right. So now we want the upper part of this image. See. And there we go. This is the right dimensions that we want. Delete. Yes. Press C and move this in. So now we've got our two images. We can delete this. Do we want this? No. We've got these two images on a clean um, image and they are the same size. Like the length of this um, uh, X-Wing is the same length as in this image that means they're going to be proportional to each other so we want to just export this as a quick png let's just do that uh, and i'll find this folder top and there we go and i will go into here export quick png X-Wing side and there we go now we've got our two images and I'm just going to undo this there we go bam and wham we can close this down and now it's time to do our I call it the calibration so if now we're in just the perspective view I'll create a cube and then I will change the dimensions so that when you look at it from different sides, you can uh, see what side you're looking at it from. If you were to use a cube, then you wouldn't be able to see just the exact side you're looking at it from. So, as you can see right here, the right side looks at it from like the front right here. So, I'd like to rotate, rotate it like that. If you move it forward, it goes this way goes to this direction move back it goes to the other direction that's pretty important to know so if we were to take the side view that we've got right here and drop it in to this view cinema 40 will place it exactly in the middle and that's exactly as we would like it then we can take our top view and throw it in here to the top and as you can see this is supposed to be forward and backwards and um, that fits in this viewport you can see when we move forward it goes that direction backwards it goes that direction but in our top viewport that doesn't that's not actually the case the image is uh, rotated 
therefore we need to go to options configure back rotation and we're going to set this to 90 degrees there we go and if we see let's take a look at this cube if we press T and scale it up then you can see if we make this fit like this now it fits exactly in the length then it should also fit exactly over here and it does and there you can see our calibration has worked out perfectly we'll rotate this to the side make a snap by holding hold all click drag hold shift to make it snap there we go this is now the calibration done and we are ready to start our modeling thank you for watching edupedia world stay tuned for more videos